lot of our customers who are building social networks on WordPress want the ability to protect the content that their users are accessing based on membership levels, and also want the ability to charge their users based on which membership level the user is trying to access. So the question comes up a lot, which is how do I actually do that? And in this video, I'm gonna explain that. So there are three plugins I'm gonna be going through, and all three of them are potential options you might want to consider. One is MemberPress, the next one is Paid Memberships Pro, and then I'll go through Memberium. So Memberium is the one you're gonna to wanna to use if you need to set up ActiveCampaign or Infusionsoft. If you're not using ActiveCampaign or Infusionsoft, then you'll want to use Paid Memberships Pro or MemberPress. And the reason I'm going over these three plugins is because these are the ones that we found to be the most popular and most common among our customer base. And for that reason, we've taken some extra care to make sure BuddyBoss platform works really nicely with all three of these. All right, so the first one I'm gonna go through is MemberPress. This is my favorite of the different options. This is kind of the default one I recommend. And the reason I like it is because it's very powerful, it has really good reporting tools, and it's very easy to configure, and it has some really useful extensions. So first, let me just go to the pricing page, and you can see that it is a paid plugin. The cheapest option is $249 a year, and so for this one, you'll have to buy it to get started. And I'm gonna go in the back end here. This is not really meant to be a tutorial, just a high level overview, just so you can see what it's about. So you see you have your memberships and you can create as many memberships as you want. And when you edit that membership, you can set up pricing and set up if it's a one-time or a recurring access. So let's say I make it $100. I could say it's recurring every month and I can set up a trial period. They give you a lot of options there for the pricing. Then you can set up access rules for what kind of content the user has access to if they purchase this membership. And you can go into their subscriptions panel and see all the active subscriptions that are on the site for recurring and non-recurring. You can go into transactions and see an order history of all the purchases that have been made. And we can go into the reporting panel. And in here they have some really nice reporting tools. Now on my site, I don't really have any real data, but you can imagine if you have lots of memberships, this is all really useful. And then for the user to actually purchase that membership, you're going to need to set up an integration with a payment gateway, most likely Stripe or PayPal. So they have a Stripe payment gateway and they also have a PayPal payment gateway. And so let's say you set up PayPal, then the user can come to the site and they wanna purchase their membership and then they can get sent out to PayPal or they can pay on site and purchase their access. So they have all this for you, and they also have integrations for BuddyPress and LearnDash. So you can add their BuddyPress integration. Let's go into the documentation. So as a reminder, our BuddyBoss platform is a fork of BuddyPress and is built in such a way to make it backwards compatible with all BuddyPress plugins. So this should work fine. So what this is going to do is integrate some of the MemberPress options into BuddyBoss platform. So for example, you get this membership tab where you can see information about your current memberships and they have some integrations to improve the signup experience to make them integrated. And they also have this integration with groups so that you can restrict access to specific groups based on their membership. And they also have a nice integration with LearnDash. So a lot of our customers are using LearnDash. If I go into the documentation, you can see that when you add this integration, then when you go to edit your membership, you get a LearnDash tab where you can click and configure which courses that membership is going to grant access to for the user. And one of the cool things about MemberPress is that it allows you to have multiple memberships at the same time. So you could have one membership that gives you access to this LearnDash course, another membership that gives you access to some other LearnDash courses, maybe another one that gives you access to some groups, and the user can actually purchase multiple memberships at the same time. So again, this is kind of my default one I, I recommend and that we use on a lot of client sites. As you'll see in a moment, we're gonna look at Paid Memberships Pro, which has a free version of it, whereas MemberPress is paid. So that's one of the reasons you might wanna start with Paid Memberships Pro if you're on a budget. So with that, let's look at Paid Memberships Pro. So here we are looking at Paid Memberships Pro in the WordPress dashboard. And in here we have the ability to set up membership levels just like MemberPress. So we can set up the membership level and set up a pricing option, recurring payments, custom trials, etc. And we can go into our orders and see history of orders. We can go into reports and see some reporting. So in a lot of ways, this is a direct competitor to MemberPress. So if I go to the pricing page, we can see that Paid Memberships Pro has a free tier, which gives you most of the features you need out of the box. So you might be able to stick with just the free tier and be okay. 
So if you're on a budget, this might be the way to go. And I'll go through some of the other features that you get with Paid Memberships Pro. So for example, you need to have some sort of payment gateway if you're charging users for access to the membership levels. And they have multiple gateways under here. The most common ones people are using are PayPal and Stripe. So just like MemberPress, they have those options. One thing I mentioned that I really like about MemberPress is that a user can purchase multiple memberships at the same time. That's not there out of the box with Paid Memberships Pro. If you want that, you have to add the multiple memberships per user add-on. And you can see that this requires Paid Memberships Pro Plus, which you can see is $297. So if you're going to do that, then the pricing starts to become about the same. And then they also have a BuddyPress integration. So we can see here that it has a lot of configuration options, actually. So you can unlock access to all of BuddyPress based on a membership level, or you can narrow it down per feature. You can see the options here, group creation, public messaging, private messaging, friend requests. They actually have quite a bit of options here. So if this is useful to you, this might be what you're interested in using. There's also a LearnDash integration for Paid Memberships Pro. So you can see some of the features, ability to associate a membership level to one or more courses, and you can auto expire a membership level after a certain amount of time. Again, Paid Memberships Pro, MemberPress, they're kind of head-on competitors, and whether you use one or the other depends on your personal needs. Really, both will serve you well. Before I get into Memberium, I do want to quickly bring up the option of using WooCommerce. So WooCommerce does have this extension, WooCommerce Memberships, which allows you to have membership tiers. And then if you want to charge subscriptions, you would have to get the WooCommerce subscriptions add-on as well. The reason I didn't bring this up initially is because I would only recommend this to somebody who's already heavily invested in using WooCommerce. If you're already using WooCommerce to sell other, other things and you don't want to keep adding more plugins, you might want to use WooCommerce and add these. But if that's not the case, then I would not recommend this because for one thing, it's a lot of overkill. WooCommerce is a full-blown shopping cart system. It's not specifically a membership system. And then it's also pretty expensive. So you pay $150 for WooCommerce memberships and $200 for WooCommerce subscriptions. So this actually becomes the most expensive option of the three. And it's the one that requires the most amount of plugins to get the same result. They do have a Stripe integration, a PayPal, a LearnDash integration, they have all that. But again, it's the most expensive and sort of most overkill option. So I would only go for this if you're already invested in using WooCommerce for other reasons and you want to just keep using WooCommerce as your checkout experience for your memberships too. All right, so last but not least, I'm going to go through Memberium. And Memberium is the most expensive and most complicated of all the options, but is also the most powerful. So before I get into Memberium, I should really clarify who this is for. It's for a very specific audience. This plugin is for people who are already using or planning to use either Infusionsoft or ActiveCampaign. So over here, we can see Infusionsoft, which has recently been rebranded to Keep, but I'll just call it Infusionsoft in this video. And you can see what this is all about. We're in the business of helping you grow your customer base. No second chances with follow-ups. Basically what this is, is a CRM that collects your customer data and allows you to do things with that data. So you can send the users through pipelines for following up with them. You can set up automatic email autoresponders, set up newsletter campaigns. You can segment your users and do various things with the data. So this is really basically a marketing tool um, and customer data management system, a third party system. And ActiveCampaign is a direct competitor to Infusionsoft slash Keep. So here's ActiveCampaign go beyond email marketing with true marketing automation. So Active Campaign is also kind of a CRM that collects your user data and lets you set up email marketing campaigns. Both options are very powerful marketing tools and both options have pretty high learning curves. And then when you throw Memberium into the mix, the learning curve is even higher. So one thing to be aware of is cost. You're going to have to pay monthly for Infusionsoft or Active Campaign. And then you also need to pay monthly for Memberium. So if we go to the pricing, you can see they have two options, Memberium for Infusionsoft and Memberium for ActiveCampaign. So let's just pull up those pricing pages. So here we can see the Memberium for Infusionsoft slash Keep is $47 a month for the basic plan. It goes up from there. And Memberium for ActiveCampaign is $20 a month and it goes up from there. So you can see this option is more expensive, but is also much more powerful. This all gets confusing that there's Memberium and there's Active Campaign, all this stuff. Basically, what's going on is Active Campaign or Infusionsoft is your third party CRM slash marketing tool. 
And Mimbirium is a WordPress plugin that you add to WordPress and it creates the bridge between the CRM and WordPress. So when you set up Membirium on your website, you're going to connect it to Infusionsoft or ActiveCampaign, and then data will start passing through from WordPress to that CRM and in the reverse. And I'm considering this a membership plugin as well because ActiveCampaign and Infusionsoft have these kind of tagging systems, and using those tagging systems, you can control the access that the user has in WordPress based on what they've purchased in that CRM. So I'll take a moment here just to show you some of the integrations they have. So if you're using LearnDash, Membirium has a LearnDash integration. So you can see here when you're editing your LearnDash content, you can unlock uh, which kinds of content the user has access to based on tagging that you're bringing in from Infusionsoft. And there's all kinds of other options here. For example, redirect students to an upsell offer upon completion of a specific LearnDash course. They have a lot of different options in this. And they have some integrations for BuddyPress too, like this tutorial showing how to sync BuddyPress profile fields to, through Membirium. So you can set up some options so that when a user registers and fills out their profile fields in BuddyPress and or BuddyBoss platform, then the profile field data will sync up through Membirium to the CRM. And here's another tutorial how to auto join users into BuddyPress groups slash BuddyBoss platform groups using Membirium. So you can set it up so that when a person purchases their Membirium access level, they're automatically added into some BuddyPress group. And there's many more features that Membirium has. And because this has a really high learning curve, I would suggest that you go through their video tutorial section. You can see they have a huge library of documentation. So hopefully you found this video helpful. This question comes up a lot for us, people wondering which membership plugin they should use to set up their site. Now you have some guidance as to where to get started.